Hello, my name is Dr. Aileen King and I'm a lecturer in pharmacology and a diabetes researcher at King's College London. Part of my research addresses the question, can pigs and seaweed cure diabetes? Diabetes is a disease in which you have too much glucose in your blood. There are two hormones responsible for keeping the blood glucose just right. Insulin decreases blood glucose and glucagon increases the blood glucose. These two hormones work in concert to keep the blood glucose at exact right level. These hormones are produced in the islets of Langerhans. These are clusters of cells found dispersed right throughout the pancreas. Type 1 diabetes is a disease where the cells producing insulin are killed by the body's own immune system. This means that the insulin production doesn't take place and the blood glucose levels go abnormally high. The most common way to treat type 1 diabetes is to inject insulin, which patients have to do several times a day. This replaces the insulin that the body can no longer produce. One alternative would be to transplant the whole pancreas. However, this is a very complicated operation. An alternative to transplanting the whole pancreas is just to take out the islets from the pancreas and transplant those. The islets are only 1% of the pancreas and thus this operation is simpler. However, the problem with transplantation is the host immune system will attack the tissue you've transplant and this means that you have to take immunosuppressive drugs. The trouble with immunosuppressive drugs is it increases the chances of getting an infection and thus it's actually safer for patients in general to just inject insulin. Another problem with transplantation is lack of donors. Type 1 diabetes is a relatively common disease and there's just not enough donors to go around. So where do pigs and seaweed come into this? Well, pigs have very similar insulin to humans. We therefore hope that we could use pigs as islet donors, which would create an unlimited supply for transplantation. The problem with transplanting pig islets into humans is they would revoke a very strong immune reaction. As for seaweed, well, it contains something called alginate. We're interested in alginate because it can form a gel. This gel can be used to form a protective capsule around the islets. This is almost like a shark cage for islets. The islets are safe within the cage where the immune systems cannot penetrate. We therefore hope we could use the alginate technology to help hide the pig islets from the immune system. So can pig islets and seaweed cure diabetes? Unfortunately, it's not possible at the moment, but we're working hard to try and make it a reality.